welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel welcome once again here is the headline for today happening now popular activist finally blows hot secrets behind the urban nation so lion mikariki came out and revealed some secrets behind the urban nation because a lot of people have been going online and saying that wait to and those people are mostly robust you want us to leave Nigeria. We are in a problem now. We are in a mess now. But if you take us to a country now that we don't understand, we want us to be like an immature, I would like put it, a mature country. For example, when Nigeria was clamoring for independence, then before we got our independence in 1916, Nigeria was not mature enough to rule ourselves like we're not mature enough to even take care of ourselves but we were fighting for independence and we got our independence but now we see the problem so now people are saying that wait to yoruba nation are saying that we want to leave nigeria are they really mature enough to leave nigeria to rule themselves to take care of themselves so there's a lot of questions that people are asking and people are really concerned about it and this story also is something like the one that happened on the Bible, the Mos Moses and Israelites. How when Moses came down to the Israelites that, oh yeah, let us leave the land. They were like, no, it is better for us to suffer here yeah, and die than go and be suffering in the wilderness. So, but now, Olayomi Koyeki has come out to give us clear details on what will happen. So there are three sets of people that are asking three different questions. One group is the ones that working class people, the ones that have um, certificates from the government, the ones that are working under the government, let's say the doctors, the lawyers, engineers working under the government. And their question is, when we leave Nigeria, basically we should leave, okay, when we leave, how are we going to use our certificate to work in the new Yoruba nation? How? So let's look at what Olayomi Koike, what was his reply to this set of people? So Lai Mikoike said, when your nation is declared officially, when we leave Nigeria officially, all those working under the government, under the federal or state government, will receive their files that contains their information. For those that have university degrees in Nigeria, it will be converted to your nation certificate. The certificate is valid in the Yoruba, in the new Yoruba land. People are scared that wait to, after I collect a certificate that they write a uh, Nigeria and eat and when I, when we leave Nigeria, how will I use it to work in the new Yoruba nation? But to like Michael is saying, it's that one is simple now. So we're just going to convert the names, that is all. Convert the names into Yoruba Nation or whatever name they want to give Yoruba Nation, that is all. Everything will just cease from being Yoruba Nation, Nigerian name. So Lai Mikoike said something, said if we gain our independence now, automatically everything you possess that is in the name of the Nigerian government will still be valid in Yoruba Nation. The only changes is that it will be a Yoruba nation name. You see? So for those saying that and eh, if they have um driver license, you know, how can this thing use it in Yoruba? Of course you can, you can, you can use it. This is what according to Lyomi culture, you can use it. They will just change it. I mean, you know, on, on driver license, you see that the right Nigerian government there, no, they will change it to, let's say, Yoruba nation, they will change it. But that doesn't mean that you cannot use it. That doesn't mean that when you come to um the new independent nation, that you now start undergoing a new training to, to, to learn how to drive, no. They will just change some of the passport. They will just change the name on the driver's license. So, Alain Mikoake gave... Um, an example, an illustration about when Britain, Britain left European Union. He said they usually use this passport then. You know, Britain created European Union. If you can remember, they created European Union. But after some years, they decided to leave European Union. And then there was this passport that they could use to assess all the countries under European Union. But then, after they left, they changed the passport. So now, like uh, Olayo Mikoike said, the only thing that will change is 
for those that have um nigerian passport they will have to change it they will have to change it because when your nation is recognized internationally you can't as a yoruba person you won't be able to take nigerian passport to any of these countries you have to change it in the new yoruba nation embassy so so as so well assess those countries as a yoruba person so there was this question that somebody asked that how can we know if a person is a yoruba like if someone is a yoruba person truly because let me know like there are a lot of people now in Lagos state kwara ibadan in the southwest state that some of them are not yoruba but because they've stayed there for a lot of years 20 50 years you see they've stayed there no it's not lagos if you go to lagos you will see them lord they won't put me by they are plenty they leave their land and because they, they came to look for greener pastures in lagos so some they give that here their children they are born in lagos I'm making use of Lagos as, as an illustration now. So some of them have gotten so used to Yoruba, they now know some people they even speak Yoruba for you, so if you will not know that they are not Yorubas. So this person is asking, how can we know that the person is truly a Yoruba person? And also if you know the answer, please don't forget to comment too. Don't forget. Let's as you're watching, please comment, comment, comment. What is your reaction to this? To what Olay Mikoke is saying. So let's continue. So Olay Mikoke replied and said that when they are officially given the permission to leave nigeria that's for those that still want to follow europe they can come with them or they can ah, come alone let's be great so for those that are forced they have spent a lot of years in yoruba land that want to join the yoruba they can join but then after some years after they've stayed some years in the new yoruba nation they would have to you know do some undergo some things that some others some will go and fake their certificates because they want to enjoy it. because when you open nation gain their independence they will see that there are a lot of things that you will enjoy when you join the urban nation because everything will be of unity of love just there will be justice the government you will know the government the government will know you no all i make all i mean Kaike said something he said in britain where he is now that there's good education if you want to go to school you don't need to go and start seeing your aunties and uncles begging them for money no that you can't think go to school without having any money in britain i'm gonna say i was like wow okay you can do a lot of things in britain without if you don't have money the government will help you although you might take a loan and they will help you later. but in nigeria everybody's spending for themselves we don't even know if we have a government or not anything that happens is your business Okay, just yeah, we we have been hearing that we have a government, but we don't we, we don't even know our own government. He said, but that's no that will not be like that when we gain the independence. That the government will know us, we will know the government. I do everybody will work together hand in hand. He said, all those are afraid that eh, how when we leave you in Nigeria, how are we going to cope? How are we going to cope? You will banish you. How will it be like? He said, they are doing all this because they don't know what is going to happen they don't know what a good government is what is how will i put this how did you put it please i'm sorry he said you don't know because if you have been to like britain or america you know the usefulness of a government we don't have a government in nigeria he said is that we don't have a government if you have been to america you know that you have some rights because you have a government government has to ensure that you are secured government has to ensure that at least you have basic education but in nigeria they don't care like they don't care what's their business so he said those people that are doing all this those people that are afraid that oh, you will banish you if we not leave nigeria we are seeing fighting with nigeria if we not leave nigeria and go to your nation and we cannot return back to nigeria how will it be like how would they cope he said no you don't understand how it's going to be that they're going to make sure that everything will benefit your nation will benefit all those are your bus your nation will benefit them that nobody will lack anything that your nation will make sure that they take care of the government will take care of their people and this is one thing that the nigerian government has failed to do in the past years since nigerian gained independence Halimika said something lastly he said those living in nigeria they haven't seen their government they don't know their government. They have been hearing about the uh, Nigerian government, Nigerian government, on shaking it, come, boari, boari, boari. 
or one more one that one more one cock on like they don't know them at all they don't know them and that's one pattern that's one thing we just you know we just vote people just come into power we don't even you know there are some things that there are some basic rights that we are supposed to have but we don't have it we live in a country that it, it seems as if there's no government killing people crying out but it seems as if there's no government so this was what Olaemi Koike was trying to explain to those that are afraid, that are having second doubt on your banish. He said, don't be scared. Everything's going to work out well. And God has already given them their independence. God has already answered their prayers. Just taken very, very soon, we're going to leave. So what's your reaction to this? Don't forget to like this video channel. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, click on the word button. Subscribe to get more of these views. And also, do not forget to click on the notification button to get notified whenever we come online with latest juicy updates for you. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.